Hello and welcome again to Red Gaming Tech. My name is Marta and you're here to listen to some speculation this time regarding the sales of the Xbox One and PlayStation 4. As of course both next-gen consoles are doing pretty well for themselves and of course the PS4 has broken pretty much every record under the sun having sold 7 million units already while of course the Xbox One is still at an impressive 5 million units shipped so far. Now both systems are selling at a present Unprecedented rates showing huge growth over their predecessors from last gen, and Ubisoft CEO Yves Guillemot believes that there's no reason to temper enthusiasm about their performance as we move ever forward into the next generation. Now, when he was speaking in an earnings call just yesterday, Yves Gilmo did say that he believes that by the end of March 2015, both of the console will, consoles rather will have sold a combined 30 million units worldwide, of course, if we split that evenly, that's 15 million units each, which is insanity. Now, you might think, well, that sounds way too high, but it's because it more than doubles their combined install bases right now. But of course, we don't actually know how the sales of both consoles are going to pick up as we get the big releases coming out of course we've got watchdogs coming out we of course have halo 5 guardians and many other titles of course of that will most likely be revealed at E3 2014. Of course last year's E3 was all about the console reveals and speculation and all that this year is all going to be about the games for those consoles and I have no doubt that we're going to see the reveal of some killer applications that are going to continue to push the Xbox One and PlayStation 4 sales up through the roof. And as I said in a previous video regarding the Kinectless Xbox One, I think that once that move has been made, the Xbox One is going to rapidly catch up to the PS4 and it's going to be a very close horse race indeed between Sony and Microsoft. And they both had their killer applications, they both had their exclusives. Of course, we've got Halo 5 versus The Order just for example. Um, and of course many others that will assuredly be confirmed in the future and of course we have multi-platform releases like Watch Dogs and then the upcoming Kingdom Hearts 3 which I can't wait for. So yeah it's going to be an interesting couple of years. I don't know if they will be quite as insane as Eve is predicting but of course he knows the industry much more than me. He is of course a CEO of Ubisoft. He knows way more about making games than I could ever learn in my lifetime. So it's an interesting opinion but we'll have to see i think it's some interesting speculation and some nice show of faith in the health of the gaming industry so what do you guys think what do you predict that we'll be seeing by march 2015 what sales figures will we be seeing for the consoles or overall or uh, for each specific platform and all that good stuff and what killer apps would you like to see what dream game like what co what um franchise could we revive Personally, I would love a Streets of Rage HD 2D brawler brought to, you know, like the PSN Arcade and Xbox Live and blah, blah, blah. But, you know, just, just showing developers, you know, hint, hint, nudge, nudge. Anyway, that is me done. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time.